I'm listening. Is there something you need? No. Why isn't it a perfect cube? You've asked me before. I forget what it is. It's an optical anomaly. To the human eye, perfect cube doesn't look like a cube, so we made it roughly a millimeter shorter than a foot and two sides. What's an anomaly? You've asked me that before, too. I don't know why you keep doing that. It's an exception. Something that doesn't fit a pattern. You have to go to school. Come in. Well, I think you two have met. Hello, old friend. You look well. So do you. So do you. <laughs> And they're telling me George is ready for you to look at the focus. Take a walk with me. Is this Lisa? Yeah. This can't be Lisa. It is. Lisa's this big. They get taller. Come on. Do you remember me? She doesn't. I'm your dad's friend, Steve Wozniak. I apologize. I don't remember you. You're very polite. <laughs> Woz? Yeah. Three sands of pay phone. Would you find me? Yeah. Good turnout. Great turnout. Yeah. Insanely great. <laughs> Insanely great. You know, this is the first time we haven't played for the same team. It's like you're releasing your first solo album. I, uh, I appreciate your inviting me to the launch. I just want to wipe the slate clean. That's exactly what I want. That's why I came backstage. I want you to know um, I'll be out there with you. <laughs> Any chance I could get you to go out there instead of me? <laughs> I love you, Steve. <laughs> I love you too, Oz. You know, some things were said. They were. They were said in public. They were published. Were you pressured to do it? Was I what? Check it out. It's the orchestra pit for the San Francisco Opera. Was I pressured to do it? I once met Seiji Ozawa at Tanglewood. Thunderous conductor. Godly artfulness and nuance. And I asked him what exactly a conductor does that a metronome can't. Surprisingly... He didn't beat he said, the living shit out of you? <laughs> that's right. No, he said, the musicians play their instruments. I play the orchestra. It feels like something that sounds good, but doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Markless Scully, they ask you to slag me off in the press? I had reason to be angry. Did they? Absolutely not. But they asked you to talk. Apple was under siege. You just left the company. Someone had to talk to the press. I'm right here, Was. The company left me. I begged you. I begged you. The Apple II accounted for 70% of the revenue. What? think was gonna happen you didn't care enough about the Apple II or the Lisa let's be really clear I didn't care at all about the Apple II or the Lisa I wasn't pressured to do it what I said to the press was an honest if tempered reflection of what I believed was yeah what the f is on your wrist you want to know I literally can't wait Everyone's going to be wearing these in 10 years. It's a Nixie watch made using Nixie tubes. This is actually 40-year-old technology. Cold cathode tubes. They're operating at 140 volts. I tilt my wrist 45 degrees. It's right there. Hours, minutes, and seconds. The way our minds work. Look at that. Do me a favor. Set the watch ahead like you're on a plane and just change time zones. Not a problem. Screw that. Dust it. Excuse me, flight attendant? The man next to me would appear to be detonating a bomb. You think this looks like a bomb? Even right now, I'm not 100% sure it isn't. I think maybe once people get used to it. No. I was angry. You were saying things about the Apple II and the way you were treating the team. Was. You get a free pass for life. I gotta get back on stage. We've got like two minutes of rehearsal time left. Do you understand how condescending that just was? Well, maybe you don't. I don't want to see you get dragged off. And I get a free pass for handcuff. life from you. You give out the pass. You give them to me. You're going to have a stroke, little buddy. What did you do? What did you do? Why has Lisa not heard of me? Shit, man, how many fourth graders have heard of you? You can't write code. You're not an engineer. You're not a designer. You can't put a hammer to a nail. I built the circuit board. The graphical interface was stolen from Xerox Park. Jeff Raskin was the leader of the Mac team before you threw him off his own project. Everything, someone else designed the box. So how come 10 times in a day, I read Steve Jobs as a genius? What do you do? I play the orchestra. 
And you're a good musician. You sit right there. You're the best in your role. I came here to clear the air. Do you know why I came Didn't here? Can you just answer that? I came here because you're going to get killed. Your computer's going to fail. You had a college and university advisory board telling you they need a powerful workstation for two to three thousand. You price next at sixty-five hundred, and that doesn't include the optional three thousand dollar hard drive, which people will discover isn't optional because the optical disc is too weak to do anything, and the twenty-five hundred dollar laser printer brings the total to twelve thousand dollars. And in the entire world, you are the only person who cares that it's housed in a perfect cube. You're gonna get killed. And I came here to stand next to you while that happens, because that's what friends do. That's what men do. I don't need your pass. We go back, so don't talk to me like I'm other people. I'm the only one that knows that this guy here is someone you invented. I'm standing by you because that perfect cube that does nothing is about to be the single biggest failure in the history of personal computers. Tell me something else I don't know. Back on stage? We're out of time. They've got to mop the stage and up on the house. If it crashes, it crashes, right? You'll make a joke. I'll make a joke. If it crashes, it crashes. It's a good slogan. Next. If it crashes, it crashes. I'm not just talking about the demo, Steve. If it's tanks, we don't swallow cyanide. We go back to the drawing board. No more drawing boards. You invent the Etzel twice. You don't get any more drawing boards. So tell it's me not... what the plan is. You have to tell me the plan because I don't know. You're walking around like you've got can't lose cards. The plan will reveal itself to you when you're ready to see it. Will I have to drop acid? Couldn't hurt. Is there a plan? Have I ever let you down? Every single goddamn time. Then I'm due. Is there? Joanna, there's a plan. I just don't want to put you in a position where you're lying to people. <sighs> Start 15 minutes late, so all we can Jesus recompile Christ. and just at How least many times give us are we a have this chance. We're not starting Fine. late ever. We're not ever Start starting late. late. But where do you come down on starting late? Lisa's been doing this thing where she asks me about stuff I've already told her. She asks me questions, and I know she already knows the answers. What's that about? Kids do that when they're scared one of their parents is in a bad mood. They try to get you talking about something you like. It's very common and can be treated by talking to her about things she likes. Do you have any experience or training in this field? No. Tell them to open the house. <laughs> 